Okay, let's take a look at investigation encoded too. It's another binary, another output file. Um, I've loaded this here into Ghidra. And again, we'll go look at the main method. The main method is gonna look pretty much the same as before. So what you see is that it reads in this flag file and then it's gonna call this encode method. The encode method is gonna look a little bit different than before. So what the hint told us was that we're gonna have both letters and numbers. So they convert to lowercase again. And then this slash to colon, if you look at an ASCII table, slash to colon basically surrounds the digits. So if we get a number, if we get a number, what we do is we add the letter K, capital K. And so what that's gonna end up doing is putting those digits, so like 48 plus 75 is 123. So zero to nine are gonna end up being right after Z. Okay, so we have A to Z, the zero to nine. So the zero to nine end up being right afterwards. Then we subtract off the A. And then we do this interesting little blip here, which um, adds 18 mod 36, does this little exclusive or on this other thing, a subtraction, a sort of scramble up the order. We have new tables now. We have uh, this index table. And then if we go into get value, this method looks basically the same as before with the secret table. So if we come over here and we look at the C program, we have a new secret table, we have this new index table. Again, at the top, we've defined the uh, values, uh, the data types, unsigned long, unsigned int, and uh, byte. So we have that get value function. We have our main function. We're again going to print out a dictionary. There are 36 things that we're going to look at, but because it's doing the scrambling, I've introduced this character variable C. Then local 9 will do the scramble on that value from 0 to 36. We then look up uh, in the index table copied out of Ghidra. So if it's bigger than 25, then we're gonna subtract the 26 and add the digit zero. Otherwise we add A, so it's gonna do A to Z and then zero to nine. We do the get value, we print this thing out, and this creates a dictionary for us. So we can say mystery six. This thing gives us a dictionary. So then I copy paste this dictionary into a new copy of the Python program but this Python program is exactly the same as before. We have another Huffman code. So we simply check to see if we start with a certain set of bits. If so, we take whatever character that corresponds to, add it to the output, and then strip it off. And again, there are gonna be extra zeros at the end. So I'm printing this out every time because it won't actually ever finish because of those extra zeros. And so we get this flag, time flies, within some hex digits at the end. So I'll put that over here, Pico CTF, time flies, and then we get ourselves the points.